In our continuous efforts to help bring the lab to the field, we are pleased to present the first ever Direct Rock Sampler Field Kit. Within minutes, you can easily prepare your samples to generate lab quality data where and when you need it. I will let my colleague, Mark Duparat, demonstrate this for you. On the Direct Rock Sampler, a sample tube must be installed on the attachment to collect the powder. Once the sample is collected in the tube, you may remove it from the direct rock sampler and sieve it to separate any large pieces which could negatively affect your analysis. The minimum amount of sample required to press a pellet is 5 milliliters without chips. It's recommended that at least 7 to 10 milliliters is collected to ensure you have enough sample. When you have collected enough sample, shake the sample tube to improve sample homogeneity. You can see here that we now have enough powder to prepare a pellet. Here we have transferred the collected sample from the sample tube to a 250 micron sieve to separate out the large particles. Now we are ready to press a pellet. Assemble the press as outlined in the user's manual and feed the sieved sample directly to the pellet press. Transfer approximately one full tablespoon from the sieve base to the pellet press. Gently tap the side of the pellet press with the hammer to move the powder to the base of the press. The inside of the pellet tube must be free of powder before the piston is inserted in the press. Skipping this step may result in the piston getting stuck in the pellet press and it can be very difficult to remove. Gently move the tissue down the tube with the piston. You must make sure the pellet press is on a firm surface. Firmly hold the pellet press as shown. Gently tap the piston with the hammer to further compact the material. Then, once the material does not seem to compress anymore, give the piston one solid blow with the hammer. Do not hit the pellet multiple times or you will destroy the pellet. Now you may remove the piston, then loosen the screws to separate the base from the tube so you can remove the sample you just pelletized. Make sure you invert the press so you do not lose your pellet. The stainless steel pellet press must be at least half filled with material for proper analysis. If it is not half full, you must repress another pellet. Now you are ready to analyze the pellet. Place the pellet directly on the Niton FXL or in the Thermoscientific FieldMate test stand and with the analyzer installed, close the lid. You can now enter the name of the sample on the touch screen of the analyzer for later identification and then click the trigger to begin your analysis. When you combine the high throughput of our Thermoscientific Niton XL2 Gold, Niton XL3T Gold Plus, and Niton FXL instruments, with the benefits of our sample prep tools, you too can change the way you work. Whether you want more information, have questions about how our equipment can help benefit your company, or would like to schedule an on-site demonstration, please visit thermoscientific.com slash